Hey, Clint from 50 Campfires here. I'm here with Kimberly and her daughter Layla and her son Jonah. And she wants to introduce her kids to fishing, but she lives in New York City. They haven't done it before. And it can be a little bit intimidating trying to figure out what lake to go to and what kind of equipment to use. So 50 Campfires invited Kimberly and her kids to spend a day with us on our Hudson Valley field trip. We promised to help them get their feet wet, pun intended, in fishing. Our best advice for Kimberly or anyone who wants to take youngsters fishing is this. Keep first trip simple. Just remember these four steps. Number one, rod and reel. The best rig to start an angler with is a push button rod and reel. These rigs are always paired up so you don't have to get the right rod to go with any specific reel. They're inexpensive and they're rugged, even if young anglers don't always handle them with care. They come pre-spooled with the right line and most important, they're easy and tangle free to cast. About a minute of instruction, maybe two minutes of practice, and they'll be casting and enjoying fishing. Number two, tackle. There's one best way to go for first time anglers. You just need a hook, sinker, and a bobber. All you have to do is tie the hook to the end of the line. Smaller hooks will usually catch more fish. A sinker is a weight that you clip to the line about eight inches above the hook. It makes the rig easier to cast and it gets the bait down to where the fish are. Clip the bobber to the line about 18 inches above the sinker. It should be big and bright so it's easy to use, but small enough so it offers minimal resistance to the fish. When the bobber starts to wobble or go under the surface, it's a sure sign that the fish are biting. Number three, bait. One bait catches more fish than any other, and that is the classic earthworm, often called night crawlers. Worms will catch just about anything. Put a worm or a piece of a worm, if you're fishing for smaller fish, on the hook and gently cast it out and chances are that you'll catch a fish. And if you or the youngsters are squeamish about putting live worms on the hook, there's still a great bait for you to use. You can buy a little jar of artificial bait that works nearly as well as the real thing without grossing the kids out. Number four, location. First trip should be from shore or a dock. That way if anyone gets bored or wants to sit down or eat something or use the bathroom, you can do it quickly and easily as opposed to being out in the boat where you have to drive all the way back into shore. So I have fun every time I'm out on the water and every time I'm fishing and I hope that, Kimberly, hope you and the kids had a good time as well. But when we were out on the water today, you said something I thought was so interesting. You told me what you thought fishing was like before coming out here and I would love to hear that one more time. Yes, I expected it to be just a waiting game, boring and definitely not something for children. <laughs> definitely not something for kids. Especially my kids. Right, yeah. Sitting on the dock, it's super <laughs> hot. And what uh, how do you what do you, how do you think how do you think she liked it? Well, my daughter is completely hooked now, so we'll be having to make many fishing trips. But they loved it. They had fun. It was actually very entertaining, blood rushing. Yeah. It, it's actually the exact exact opposite of what I thought it would be. It's, <laughs> Amazing. I'm so glad you guys had fun and I hope some of those tips are helpful if you want to get out on the water for the first time with your family.